we've got a drive-in freezer here that's not holding temp. Problem is it's not hitting zero, it's fluctuating around six to 10 area. And then over in this area here, we've got a, another one up there. So it feels a little colder over here. I have a feeling this one here might be doing a little bit better job. Still not quite cutting it. So looks like our line set goes up over and out that side of the wall so I'm gonna go out there and see what's going on everything appears to be running just not getting down to temperature so we got one two three let's say these ones here are our main ones yeah one south evap freezer one north one so north south and that's a dock evap so yeah it's these two here the one's running the other's not that's not good this one only holds about 481 pounds we're not in a defrost what do we got going on here low pressure switch that ain't good the other one that's running actually has what looks to be it's got a solid sight glass focus on this one I think we basically just got one that's struggling to keep up. I just ran across it there. We are open. So now to find out why. Do we have a pressure switch that's bad or do we have something else going on? So we'll get in there see if we can gauge onto that somewhere. We'll find a spot to even get on it. Yeah, it goes up, goes down, comes over. Yeah, there we go. You just gotta look long enough. Please be high. Be a nice, easy one for once. No, sir. Not. Okay. Is our solenoid calling? So, it almost makes me think. Pressure switch is doing its job. Hopefully pump down. Checking our liquid side, we do have pressure. Our solenoid I don't believe is calling because this thing's locked itself out. No solenoid calling. You can see it right there. According to this here, you got N4, which is your power coming out, comes out, goes to the terminal block, goes through the thermostat, goes to a dummy terminal, comes out, goes to the liquid line solenoid, back up, through a pump down switch back over here to R1 which is a relay um, I've got 200 and some odd volts there on my N and 4 so it's coming out of the clock so it sounds to me if I can find 5 and 6 there I might find the thermostat and that's going to be probably where our problem is going to be at the one that was missing there the dummy terminal I'm assuming is this one here because there's nothing on 5 so check between there and six, I have 214 volts, so we need to go inside and check uh, and see if that's uh, the case. It seems like the thermostat is not calling. All right, so it was open, and all I had to do is turn it down a little bit. It was right at zero. So we're gonna wait and see what, it, what uh, the actual temperature is in here. Is it a problem with calibration? Or is it an issue with uh, the thermostat just being defective? Looks like it's fairly newer, but then again, it's not getting a whole lot of use when it's, you know, probably 20 some foot up here in the air. Coil. Looks pretty good. So we waited for a little while, seven degrees. And as far as getting it to come on, I had to go to a negative five. I made sure this isn't pinned in between there because that can twist that if it gets too too tight or if it's uneven, which it's inside the, the frame there. It shouldn't have done it. So at this point, I am going to say we need to replace the thermostat. All right, so she's out here running. 
which is a beautiful sign. Check this real quick. That's a really beautiful sign. Running on top. Pressures. 175, running about a 20, about well, 20 pound suction. We're going to go ahead and put this into a pump down. There you go. Okay, we just got it changed, so let's kick this back on and see what happens. Checked everything under the sun. I'm gonna enter her defrost. See what we get. Make sure she pumps down, shuts down, and that uh, strip heat comes on. And there she goes. Interlock. 43 smackers. Yeah, it was off by 12 degrees, so we'll watch it for just a little bit and we'll wrap this thing up. You can tell this one's been running a long cycle, I'm going to take a peek inside of it. Make sure there ain't nothing else weird in here, I don't want to just skip it, my luck. Something weird going on I don't know about. Alright guys, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.